there's an image that you may have seen that's been going around for several years. And the story goes like this. Masha or Mashenka, depending on the source, was a student visiting Odessa, Ukraine in 2005. She was attending a New Year's Eve party and afterwards, she and her friends decided to check out the catacombs. But after a while, they were all tired, so they decided to stay in the catacombs overnight and leave in the morning. And when they woke up the next morning, they noticed that Masha wasn't with them. Apparently, she became separated from her friends and they looked for her, but after a while, they assumed that she had already gotten out or that she would get out on her own soon. Unfortunately, this was not the case and she was later reported missing but some believe that she was left on purpose. It's believed that she walked in the opposite direction of the entrance and went further underground where the temperatures dropped even lower. They calculated the distance of where she went missing to the distance of where she was found, and they determined that she eventually died of dehydration and exhaustion. A little less than six months after Masha's disappearance, Rumors began to spread among local urban explorers that someone had spotted a body. Once word got out, others went into the catacombs hoping to come across the body. Because of that, there's also this photo. In 2009, an urban explorer on Urban Explorers Resource, UER.com, with the username Eugene, shared a very morbid discovery along with the backstory that went with the image. The picture was taken in April of 2005. Supposedly, he was with his best friend when this photo was taken. There's a man that claims he was one of the people that carried Masha's body out, but it was never originally even thought to be her body, and he described the remains as bone soup. He wrapped the body in a bed sheet and dragged it to the police medical examiner's office, which was about five miles from the entrance that Masha would have used. He claims that he was looking for the body of a Ukrainian businessman's son. The son had gotten lost and there was a reward offered to anyone who could find him. However, when the body was removed, it was in terrible condition, but DNA testing proved that it wasn't his body. The Odessa catacombs were originally a stone mine, which was later abandoned. And after it was abandoned, it was used by smugglers to move illegal goods during wartime and it even acted as a bomb shelter in the Cold War. The Germans and Romanians would try to seal up any excess that they found and would throw gas into the tunnels to try to smoke them out or kill them. They were also used as a hiding place for slave traders who smuggled women from Odessa to sell in the slave markets of Constantinople. The most famous use of the catacombs, however, was as a command post and a hiding place for Ukrainian partisans during World War II and there were literally thousands of people living down there. Urban explorers have actually found skeletons near helmets and German World War II artifacts, and interestingly, the skulls are never with them. And this could mean that they're being taken as a morbid keepsake, or it could mean that the soldiers were beheaded. And when the war ended, it's believed by some that Nazi soldiers were captured and dragged into the catacombs to meet their demise. Some believe there is a chamber that contains the corpses of thousands that were killed during World War II. It's also been rumored that below School 56, there's a solid gold replica of the Titanic that's a few inches long. It was supposedly built by a wealthy aristocrat and a Titanic survivor, and it was a gift for the sailors who pulled him from the water as the Titanic sank. When the Bolsheviks took control of the Ukraine, the man hid the gold replica deep within the catacombs so that he could retrieve it and present it to his heroes when the time was right. But unfortunately, he was killed and the golden Titanic remained hidden below the city. That's what the story says anyway. No one has ever mapped the entire underground space because it's simply too big. Many of the over 1,000 entrances have been closed off to prevent anyone from getting in and getting lost. But there will always be those that love venturing into lesser known dangerous places. While going into the catacombs is not illegal, there is only one small portion of the catacombs that is officially open to the public and it's within the Museum of Partisan Glory. Since Masha's death occurred around the same time as the other disappearance, some believe the stories became intertwined. 
In 2011, skeletal remains were found in the catacombs, and at first, police thought that the person had simply gotten lost and died, just like Masha had supposedly done. But when the cause of death was determined, they discovered the victim had been murdered. In 2015, a man was sentenced to 13 years in prison for an axe murder. He was with some friends and had been drinking with a young lady. They got into an argument and he led her further into the catacombs. He pulled out an axe, he killed her, and he just left her body there. He then threw the axe in the water. Because so much tragedy has taken place in the catacombs, there are rumors that it's haunted and guides will sometimes tell the story of their most famous ghost called the White Hunter and there are even shrines to him down there. The story is that he was a hunter who was lured into the catacombs looking for treasure but unfortunately he never left and he now wanders the tunnels terrifying or maybe protecting anyone who ventures inside. It's also said that Masha's spirit haunts the catacombs and that she's still wandering around cold and alone, still trying to find her way out. Because the story spread so quickly online, it didn't take long before people started to question the legitimacy of it. And some believe Eugene made it all up while others disagree. There is little to no record of a girl named Masha ever disappearing into the catacombs even though the story has long been reported as fact, even in newspapers. According to the official Odessa Catacombs website, the whole story of Masha is a lie. Besides the original photographer, there isn't one person, civilian or law enforcement, that can confirm the story. 